they're relieved after federal agents took a wanted armed suspect into custody. Now, this man was wanted out of Macon, Georgia, and is the third fugitive arrested in Jacksonville in the last few weeks. Tonight, Action News Jack's Brittany Donovan explains the takedown and the hundreds of arrests that marshals make in our area each year. A straight bullet could have hit the chip. You know, it could have been anything what it, the officer had to took further than the canine. JSO K9 Murphy helped take down this wanted man, 41 year old Demarcus Bell, after U.S. Marshals tracked him to a West Side apartment. He allegedly pulled a gun on a marshal in Macon, Georgia, and was wanted in connection to a homicide in the state. Officers say they found a gun inside the apartment after he surrendered. I'm very glad that he's not out here anymore. You never know who anyone is. Families tell me children are always playing on this playground or riding their bikes through this neighborhood. You can see just how close the apartment was, where the man was taken into custody. He's among three fugitives arrested in Jacksonville in just over a month. The U.S. Marshal Service arrested O. Derek Mosley, wanted for murder in Mississippi, at a Durkeyville apartment March 1st. Then on March 15th, agents took Lester Pearson into custody. He was wanted for allegedly shooting an NYPD officer in 1999. Probably capture, like I said, anywhere from two to three hundred a year over here, maybe, and that's including getting them here. Or when they flee here. Agents tell me many fugitives likely end up in Jacksonville because of its location in the I 10 and I 95 corridor. Hill tells me she's being more careful after the takedown in her neighborhood. I just be more cautious about how I let my kids be out, what time I let them be out, who they associate with, who I let them speak to. Reporting in Duval County, Brittany Donovan, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News, Jax.